Okay, we're back at the uh, what used to be the 800 volt power supply, but now it's wired for 1200 volts. The capacitors are in series, 400 volts each is actually 1600 volts. Get it right sooner or later. See, on both sides are wired in series. Uh, I removed the one meter that didn't work anymore. Also, it gave me more room for capacitors, so I can actually now fit a fifth capacitor in the back if I want to add another one for 2000 volts, but the SCR isn't rated for that. And of course I kept the uh, wonderful resistor that keeps smoking. So there's the latest changes uh, to the design and makeup to run at 1600 volts. Using a digital voltmeter because our uh, analog isn't accurate at this point we finish out calibrating it and let's see what's going on down below okay my tripod's a little loose um, here we have the flat coil five inch washer actually a platter, hard drive platter on it a birch beer soda can and a couple of two by sixes holding up a cinder block and actually the cinder block isn't quite making contact with the left two by six and what we're going to demonstrate here is the fact that the cinder block does not need to fall in the soda can to crush it One shorter soda can at 1200 volts. Now someday I'll get up the nerve to actually uh, go up to 1600 volts. Okay, made a few changes. I'm trying to uh, get everything adjusted right. Camera. Ah. Here. So I get the camera more square on the subject. Okay. Made a few changes. Some people have commented that the uh, lead-in cord is the biggest uh, loss. The uh, the cable between the uh, coil and the power supply is the biggest loss. So. I've made a few changes. One is the cord the uh, coil to the power supply is now half the length, so the power supply has to be a lot closer to the coil. And number two, we now have two and a half mega ohms resistance in series with a voltmeter because the uh, voltmeter is one milliamp full scale, so even though it still says 0.2, it's actually 0.5. So that is to say a reading of four would be a reading of two kilovolts. And of course, as usual, we have the flat coil, uh, five and a quarter inch hard drive platter, soda can, into a cinder block. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, we're charging. Now I forget what I'm supposed to be reading there. It's 0.5. So that'd be one and a half kilovolts. doesn't hold very good. Smells a little toasty. That would be one and a half kilovolts. My meters don't even go that high. They're thousand volt max. I guess we could take the voltage across one capacitor and multiply it by four. Let's see what we have on one capacitor. Each capacitor is at 350, so that would be 1400 volts. Yep, that's correct. So we're pretty accurate. Let's charge her up some more. We should be able to get it up close to a reading of 4, which would be 2 kilovolts. Okay, we're ready on the right, ready on the left. Here it goes. Oh, that was 
interesting. Oh my goodness! It's a new flattening record. We blew out the side of the soda can. That is the flattest soda can we have done yet. Yeah. 